This is going to be a guide of how to solo this week's level 32, which is Urox, the Flame Prince. It's really not that difficult. First wave is going to be Hive. Now I've found something which I'm sure a lot of players have, but there seems to be a little bit of a dead spot in the Hive room. If you go to the far left, to the left hand corner, it seems to delay the spawning of half of the room. And this is really helpful when you're doing stuff by yourself. Now the first round in level 32, you're not going to have to cap any flags. I mean, just dis dismantle the mines. It's really like capping flags. You're not going to have to destroy mines. You're not going to have to kill a target. The first round is going to be nothing but just killing enemies. So follow my path where I'm going now. You're going to go over to this left-hand side. And you'll see through the three waves that the same spawning is going to occur. So the ogre spawn, that's fine. There's going to be three thrall that come out of that door down there. And please excuse my terrible aim. This was early in the morning when I was recording this. And then you're going to have a couple acolytes to your left. Make sure you got a sniper on to just handle ogres. And this is really going to help with spawning. So knights and wizards that come out in round two and three, they're not going to, you're not going to get bombarded. So it's just pretty easy. And then you can just work on taking out the ogres. I'm going to fast forward the video a little bit. Now once you kill the ogres, just use your sniper guys and then you can finish them off with your primary. I'm using black hammer. If you don't have black hammer, don't worry, normal sniper rifle is going to be perfectly fine. Now the other half of the first wave, or the second part of the first wave, whatever you want to call it, hasn't spawned yet. But you see the red markers on my map, but there's no enemies out of the doors yet. That's because I stayed on the left side of the room. Now as you make your way over here, you have to get close to the door. And once you get close to the door, they should start spawning. Here they come now. And this is the rest of the first wave that didn't show up. So if you're doing this by yourself, just use the strategy every time you're in a hive room. Run over to the left, and you'll see later in round four, I believe, is when you actually have to dismantle mines, and that's when you're capping flags by yourself. And it's really helpful to go to that dead area where it's like you're it's like the game doesn't register you're in the room for some reason, and it just delays the spawn because you're only on one half of the room, so only half of the enemy spawn. And another thing I do is when you have the last enemy, make sure to move back to the left side of the room before you kill that last enemy so you can start the next wave over here in the left-hand corner. Now, I think you get the gist of what's going to happen. I'm going to fast forward through the next two waves, but you can see it's going to be the same spawn. Three Thrall right there, and then there's going to be the three Acolytes and the two Ogres. No wizards spawn with the first wave. Wizards and knights will spawn with the second wave and third wave. So just make sure you got rockets ready or your super or whatever you want to use just in case you don't have the best guns. Get rockets. Make sure you got packs. Now with the last wave, the third wave on this first round, you are going to have an ultra wizard and an ultra knight, I believe. So I would not stay where I'm at right now. I stayed. I'm, I'm a little bit higher level, but if you're at level 32, I would run back to the left. Um, as you can see, I mean, even with Golden Gun, I don't kill that Ultra Wizard, though I think I did miss a shot. So I would run back to the left. You can see it kind of gets congested. I don't die still, but uh, I'm a level 34 right now in this video. Definitely, this is definitely doable as a level 32 if you play it smart. Now you might, you might die, it might take you a little longer to complete than I did as a level 34, but it's definitely still doable. And as you can see, I'm just letting off rockets on these last, uh, last few enemies. And the left side of the room really helps. And I mean, the wizards are kind of staying at bay. I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe Bungie's going to fix it. Probably not. M maybe they don't even know about it. But it seems that there's kind of a little dead area back here on the left side where it just doesn't trigger the whole room to spawn. And it's really convenient when you're playing by yourself. The second round of Urox's level 32 Prison of Elders is Cabal. And as you saw, primary weapon is the modifier. Now, the first wave is always going to be just kill everything. I like to stay on this side of the room until it gets overrun with enemies. And then I, as a hunter, I turn in Viz and run to the other side of the room. As a Warlock or Titan, I would clear out either the left or right and then run that way. Or you can just float over them if you want. So I always take out these little scions. They flow out of those doors every time. They're spawning at the same spot every wave. And I'm just going to cut ahead to the second wave. You, you get the idea, guys. Shoot and kill things for the first wave. So for this round two, I'm going to have to dismantle mines. Now as a hunter, 
It's incredibly easy. For a Titan, you can use your bubble. For a Warlock, you have self res. Now, as a level 32, this is going to be probably a little more difficult for Titans and Warlocks because you can't turn in Viz. If I was a Titan, and because this first mine is in the very center of the room, I would use your bubble. Now, you don't have to. I would go up here maybe with a shotgun and just start taking these scions out. Granted, I'm a hunter. I'm going to have the easiest time doing this. But you see how this next mine's right to my left. Your bubble's going to last. I think the bubble lasts, what, 45 seconds? Something like that. Or you can with certain perks and armor. I'm not a titan, so I have no clue. But I know it lasts a generally a, a good length of time. So the next mine, if you haven't played Prison of Elders, is going to be over here. There's, the mines spawn in the same spots. They don't... They're not all over the room. They're spawning in the same spots. Now, this mine, you can spawn or you can cap it from up top. I would come up top here just so you're not going to get melee damage from down below and just shoot things. So once you defuse the mines, I, take, I just go back to the strategy I use for when you're just killing enemies in the Cabal room. Go over to this little area where you have some cover and you're just thin it out, thin it out, thin it out. And if it gets too overcrowded, move to the other side of the room and then just go back and forth depending on how long it's going to take you to kill enemies. Now I have noticed in the Prison of Elders with the f capping of flags, a lot of the times they spawn in the same exact order. Now for this third wave, the mine spawns in the same spot the first one does as the first one did in the second wave. Now it does change up. It's not always going to spawn in the same order wave 2 and wave 3 are. But a lot of the times it does. At least I have noticed that. I don't know if maybe I've just been lucky, you know, and they've been spawning in the same order. It could be totally random. Now, see, this one switched up. It went went over here for the second, second one. This, to me, the Cabal Room, is going to be the hardest part of this 32 solo for non-hunters because you can't go in Viz. I'm not saying it's not doable. It's just going to be probably a little frustrating because if you keep watching later in the video for the fourth round in the hive room when capping flags, you can use that dead spot to your advantage where you're basically capping flags by yourself and there's no enemies on the map. So it's going to be easier for a hunter. Titan, you can pop a bubble. Warlock, you do have self res. It's just going to be a little more difficult. Now, um, I got the gift of heavy ammo, which is great. So you could just spam your rocket and go and refill up and spam again and refill up. If you get a Scorch Cannon, you're only going to get 10 shots. The Scorch Cannon doesn't suck, but it's not as good as having, uh, you know, a rocket launcher full on rockets. So you can just unload and then, you know, go and automatically recharge up. So once you cap all the flags, again, same thing, killing enemies. Pretty simple once the flags are capped. The third round is Cabal again. And for this one, you're not having to dismantle mines. You're not going to have to destroy the mines. You're going to be killing a target. Like I've said, first wave is just killing enemies. Use the strategy I use where you're over here where you first start out because you got cover. And I would run around a little at first to dismantle some of the mines. Just you don't want to, you know, be running for your life and you're close to being dead and then you get slowed up by a mine and then an enemy shoots you and you die. So I would try and, you know, if you're whittling down the wave, first wave, I would then leave an enemy or two and go around and try to dismantle all the mines. I, that's just what I would do personally, just because even if you're invisible as a hunter and you run over a mine, it can give away your position. So I would just get all that crap off, off the map just to get it off. Now see, it's starting to get crowded up front. I'm making sure to, you know, check my radar every few shots just to make sure, because Cabal will come up here. They will come. You see, he's coming right here. And I got to bust out my shotgun. Now, if you were a level 32, you might have died there so you just got to be careful that you don't get overrun now if these dudes start to flow in like this I would just again go to the back side of the room that's right where I'm looking back to that far right side of the room go all the way back there and wait for them to funnel in you can shoot and kill enemies from over there and if they start to funnel over towards you then come all the way back around to here you're gonna be running back and forth quite a bit unless you can hold them at bay and then you might be able to stay at this spot the whole time for the second and third wave, you're killing a target. He's going to spawn out of this back right door every single time. At least it has in the level 34 Aurochs last week and this week's level 32. He's going to spawn back here. 
So just come back here and unload rockets. It's really, really easy. This is going to be simple for a 32. And then the rest of the wave, guys, you just got to kill enemies and survive. So make sure you have rockets. Make sure you can pop a pack. Now, for me, as a level 34, he's only going to take two Galahorn shots. Not everybody has Galahorn. Not everybody's a level 34. If you're a level 32, it might take four or five rockets to kill him. So just make sure that if you need your, you're waiting on a cooldown, leave one or two enemies alive until the five minutes is surpassed and you can pop a pack. Third wave is the exact same as the second one. He's going to spawn back here in the right hand corner. Just come back here. Don't worry about other enemies and just unload on this guy. Your goal is to just kill him as quickly as possible and then you can go and find cover to kill the rest of the guys. Two galley shots didn't kill him that time. That's okay. Just keep on him. Keep firing rockets and take him down. For the fourth round, we're going back to the hive room and arc burn is on, so be careful because wizards and boomers do deal arc damage. Before you enter the room, I would pop a pack, make sure you got full rockets, and then wait five minutes until the cooldown's off so you can pop a pack again right away. Just like we did in the first round of being in this room, we're heading over to the left side so we can use this delayed spawn, dead spot, whatever you want to call it, to our advantage. And again, first wave, we all know, you're just killing enemies. And make sure you save the last enemy, bring him closer to the left side of the room so you can kill him over here. So when the next wave starts and you have to dismantle the mines, you have this dead spot to your advantage. You'll see here I get teleported and it will do this sometimes if you're over here on the left side. And maybe I was standing still too long and that's why it teleported me. I'm not sure, I think it has to do with the fact that it's kind of a dead area in the room. Because I got teleported across the room, it did mess up the spawn a little bit, but not completely. The only thing that it did is it's gonna spawn these hollowed acolytes. Don't worry, don't panic. That's why we're saving your rockets for the ads. You know, you don't really have to save those. Arc burns on, just put a good arc primary on, and you can do a lot of damage with your primary as well. So just make sure you save rockets for the tough ads, like the wizards, the knights, and any acolytes, any ultras like that. These are the three spots right there. That's where C's at that are going to be the flags. And you'll see what I was talking about in the Cabal Room about the mines spawning in the same order. The next wave, they spawn in the exact same order. Right now, there's no enemies over here. They haven't spawned yet because I'm not like close enough to this door to activate it yet. So just use this strategy and it's going to be really easy for you to cap the flags. You'll see here on wave 3 what it's really like when you don't get teleported. I'm here by myself. There's only going to be a few enemies and once that first mine pops up, see this mine's going in the same order. The first one was over here for the second wave, the first one for the third wave is over here. And you see there's no enemies. The, ac the ultra acolytes haven't spawned yet so the teleportation ruined it for me. Or not ruined it, I mean I stayed alive but it just messed it up. So this is going to go in the same exact order. I told you that a lot of the times the dismantling the mines will go in the same order. And as you see, there's no enemies on the map. I'm running around by myself. So Warlocks, Titans, you're going to have no trouble on this Hive map capping flags. The biggest trouble is going to be that Cabal map. Now, just make sure you don't go too close to the door because Ultra Wizards will spawn on this third wave and they spawn on the second wave as well. So you see here they come. I'm over at the flag. I'm capping it and that kind of triggered the spawn. I'm going to move all the way back over to the left side. Wizards are coming out there to my left. There's a boomer. I would come all the way back over to this left side. I like the left side better. And just use your rockets to your advantage, guys. Be careful of the arc burn. There's an ultra boomer right there. That's why I said make sure you can pop a pack. I popped a pack prior to this round and I'm using all rockets on wizards and the boomers. You can take care of Thrall, Acolyte, and Curse Thrall pretty easily with your primary. For Uruk, the Flame Prince, put on a solar primary. Solar Burn's still on. I think Solar Burn's going to be on every single time because they want his little move of turning the floor to lava to do extra damage to you. I got Abyss Define on, Black Hammer, and Galahorn. Again, with the heavy, I made sure to sit in the, the main chamber room and have full rockets and then wait for my cooldown to disperse. If you didn't watch my Urox guide, you're going to come to the left side of the room, guys. The left side of the room is king in the hive. I've noticed after playing this, an Ultra Knight will spawn down there to the left. You want to get rid of that dude because he can mess you up the first little uh, jump you do. Here he comes. Use your rockets. I don't know why that Galahorn detonated like that. But, okay, so one galley shot takes him out. With Solar Burn on, use Hunger of Crota if you don't have Galahorn to take out that 
Ultra Knight because he will come over here and kill you. If you did watch my other video, I get killed in the first uh, first Urox Rage because that fool came over and gave me a Mike Tyson right cross. So for those that didn't watch the other video, come to the left side, save all your rockets for ads. Save it for wizards and save it for the boomers. Those are going to be what kills you, not Urox. He's fine. Now for the Enrage, hunters, use triple jump. That's what I'm using. And I almost die from a cursed thrall right there. So just be careful. And for Titans and Warlocks, you guys got it easy. You can just float around in the air. And Titans, you can pop a bubble if you need an extra shield. And you notice I'm not shooting at Urox yet because I want to clear out the adds first. This first wave is ridiculous. Just, just survive the first wave and then there will be a lull and there will be a downtime. And then you can just take your sniper. I got Black Hammer. And you can just unload on Urox. Now if you're 34 and this is level 32, you're going to kill him in minutes. It's You're just taking chunks of health. 32, this is definitely still doable, guys. It's just going to be a little tougher, take a little bit longer. But just keep at it. Keep persistent. Use the strategy that I'm showing you in this video. It's the best strategy that I have found so far. Now, there might be another video out there with a better strategy, but I personally think this is the best one to be on the left side of the room in the hive room. And you basically can just do 32 by yourself, guys, if you don't have a team. That's basically why I make these videos for the players that play by themselves. And you see I'm doing 10,000 damage per headshot. And if you can get him in a little chain here where he's not even going to shoot you. Now, you got to be careful, though, because after you take off chunks of health, then new enemies will spawn. So just be aware. Don't get glued in there if you have black hammer. Check every once in a while your radar to see if new enemies have spawned. And a lot of times, you can hear the wizards and you can hear the boomers. They make noise, the cursed thrall. That kind of lets you know that new enemies have spawned. I wouldn't even waste time shooting the ogres personally. Just shoot him. I see again. You just chain these headshots together and he's not even going to be able to shoot you. It's really, really easy. The first time we did it on 34, man, I was like, dang, this is pretty tough. But once you get the strategy down, guys, it's it's quite easy. Now, I'm going to skip way ahead in the fight just to show you kind of the end. And it's basically, guys, just use Black Hammer on him. Black Hammer, hammer away at him. And then when the enemies come, the new ads, use your rocket launcher. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. It might take multiple attempts if you've never done it before. I've done it multiple times now, so I'm used to the jumping. The jumping does take some time to get used to. But hopefully this video was helpful, you guys, and it helps you get through this solo so you can get some gear, armor core, bump up to level 33 if you're still at 32. And I only died once. I really think the only hiccup you might have is the Cabal Room when you're having to dismantle the mines. That's the only hiccup I had. That was the only part I had to retry. But good luck, everybody. Have a good one. See ya.